Alright, Shalom, Brother Goodbye back with that GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us this truth according to the Bible and over well. I know Shalom, the artist and see I can start the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, now a lesson here. We're going to get in on trust, trusting in the God of the Bible. Okay, because, um, you know, it's the Day of Atonement. And, we, you know, probably asking the Lord to forgive us for our sins, you know, wrong with thoughts, sins, and doings, and be sincere about it, man. You know, because the times that are at hand are the times of trouble. And we're going to have to trust that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to deliver us through all things, man. Lord willing, we endure. Okay? Because it's going to be a bumpy road that's coming, man. And you want to put your faith and your trust in your Hawabashim Yahweh Shai. Once again, the world ignorantly and willingly calls God and Jesus Christ. That's their names in ancient Hebrew. Yahweh, He is, He exists. Yahweh Shai. He is the liver or savior. Okay. It was like you see here, Daniel and the lion's den. Daniel put his trust in Yahweh by Shem Shai. And with that, we're going to grab our first precept. Let's go to the book of. And we brought this out yesterday on the highways and byways. But it's um, a very powerful scripture, man. Mm. I'm just going to read on down from 6. It says, Believe in him. Who's the him? Yahweh Shai, man. Right? The word he calls Jesus. And he will help thee. And that's what we're going to need now and the times that is rapidly approaching, man, which is Jacob's trouble. It's the trouble for you Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Order thy hands are right and trust in him. Come back to this truth. You know? This is all we have is this truth, man. And you Israelites are going to understand that one day soon come. And trust in the Lord, man. A firm belief. Right? Ye, verse 7, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. And said, look, and you have to wait. Did, did Daniel get frustrated and, you know, try to take matters in his own hands? He trusted in the Lord. Okay? And that's what you have to do, man. You have to wait on the Lord for his mercy and not take matters in your own hands. It tells you in Proverbs, the third chapter, um, uh, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. You know, that's written for a reason. So verse 7 again, Sirach 2 and 7, ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Because if you don't wait for his mercy, you will fall. Because you're taking matters into your own hands. Whether you're facing facing uh, eviction, homelessness, you know, uh, you know, famine, don't have food, okay, don't have water, don't have clothes, you know. Don't worry about those things. Continue to put your trust in the Lord, man. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him. The scripture said the Lord said he's going to yeah, clothe and feed his people. You know, we're much more better than the animals. You know, we're Yasha Allah. So he's going to take care of his elect. You know, the scripture said we shall eat, but, ye, but they shall be hungry, roughly paraphrasing. They shall howl for vexation of pitched spirit. But we shall uh, uh, be glad and rejoice. Something to that effect. So you got to believe in those things. 
Sirach 2 and 8. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward should not fail. That's right. Your reward is not going to fail you, man. When when Jake is going through it, don't know uh, uh, if they're going to uh, uh, survive, it, survive through the day or survive through the night. You know, you're going to be good. Verse 9, the point is intent. Verse 9, ye that fear the Lord hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. So it's all about fear and trust, man. You know, fear, trust, faith, all those things, man, you're going to need in the times that we're living in for survival. Which is the wisdom and knowledge of understanding the scriptures. So the Lord has blessed you with this, man. Hold on to it. Increase it. You know, read, pray. Because you're going to need this protection, man. We can't stress enough how bad it's going to get out here. Martial law up and through the streets. You know. Pestilence, diseases at all time high. You know, the sword. Men kicking in doors. Taking whatever they want. And if you don't have that protection, you have by Shimi Shah, you're through. That's why it's very important to fear and trust them. Ye that fear the Lord, verse 9, Sirach 2 and 9, hope for hope for for good and everlasting joy and mercy. That's what we're hoping for. We're not hoping to get caught up in these things that are coming, man. We're putting our trust in the Lord. He's gonna deliver us from it. Because the Lord created all these things for the wicked. You know, the 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 the, the death and destruction, you know. Verse 10. <clears throat> Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Right. Meshach, Shem, Reckon, Abednego, and the fiery furnace. Okay. Noah, when he was bidding that ark. Daniel and the lions then. You know, were they ever confounded? The answer is no. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Once again, the answer is no. Or whom did he ever despise, which means hate, that called upon him? No one. And we know this through the scriptures that we've been reading. So it's all about trust, man. Trust and fear. Trust and fear, man. Well, fear first and foremost. Because that's the whole duty of man. According to uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. But trust is... It is, it is a big thing, man. And look, like it tells you. I fact, let's go to. um. Nahum 1. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And we're going to have to remember that, man. We're going to have to remember this scripture, man. Yeah, how about Shimei was shot is good. There's only one good. That's the most high. A stronghold in the day of trouble. So we're going to be able to hold on to the Lord in these days that we're living in, these latter days, these end days. Right? In the day of trouble. So that you know the day of trouble is, is coming, man. It says, and he knoweth them that trust in him. So you can't fool the Lord, man. He can't fool the Lord, man. The Lord knows those who trust in him. So now you have to what? Pray that 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 that, that trust increases, man. You have to pray that the Lord is, is putting the spirit on you to trust in him, man. You know? That's why we go through these trials, you know, these fiery trials. As the scripture said, which is to try you, to build your faith, your confidence, your trust. And your fear in the Lord. You know? So let's go back and finish it off. This is Rock 2 and 11. It says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and forgive of sins. Which is the time we're living in, man. You know, especially today being the Day of Atonement. You want the Lord to forgive you for all your 
all your sins, man. You know, because we went off badly, man. We went off badly in this life and in our life's uh, previous lives, man. You know, this is a very important and solemn day. Sit back and reflect and think and, and ask for forgiveness. You know? Because the time's ahead, man. Revelation 12 and 12, the devil's going to come down on our people. You know? And you want the Lord to be on your side. It says, Sirach chapter 2 verse 11, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgive of sins, and saveth in a time of affliction. Because affliction is here, and the Lord is going to only raise up that temperature, man. And you want the Lord to be on your side while he's doing that, to protect you. So trust in him, fear him. You know, ask for forgiveness of your sins. So with that, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakudash, the warnings for our apostles and elders, a great millstone, for teaching us his truth according to the Bible, and hungry well. I know that Shalom, the all the sincere Akim, throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.